Hi everyone! In this video we're going to look at Mac's upcoming nail lacquers collection. So this collection will be available in stores July 5th, but it's available currently online at maccosmetics.com. So what Mac is doing is making 30 nail polish shades permanent. A lot of the 30 shades were previously released with the recent Lips and Tips or Fashion Sets collection, so you can go ahead and jump over to that video to see a lot of the colors that are being re-released with this nail polish specific collection. The only new nail polishes that are being released are going to be shown in this video, and there are 10 of them. They are $16 each. So in this video, I will swatch the colors for you so that you can see how they apply. And then of course, I will have pictures and a full review up on AlluraBeauty.com for you to see and to read. As always, please check the description box and wait till the end of the video to ask any questions. I really appreciate that. All right, let's look at these colors. I'm going to apply the sheer colors first, starting with Delicate. And this has a cream finish. This is a transparent color. It's a very pale pink, but effectively applies as a clear coat of polish. Second is Faint of Heart. This also has a cream finish. Also transparent in color. It's a light cream. It does give the slightest tint of color to the nails. Next is Skin, also a cream finish. This is a light, slightly peachy beige. Makes me think of Max Viva Glam Gaga 2 color. Not my favorite color, but I will say that the peach isn't too strong. So the more peach it is, I find the more unflattering it is, but this one is, is okay. I'm going to apply a second layer because you can see that it's streaky on the first layer. Of course, with the second layer, it becomes more of an intense color. Next is Coffee Break Cream Finish. This is a mint-toned, cool-toned taupe. And here it is with two layers applied. I needed to even out the finish, and it's now more opaque. This is Flaming Rose Cream Finish. Mac describes this as a true red. Goes on very opaque and even on the first coat. Then we have Midnight Tryst. This has a frost finish. This is a dark, cool toned gray with pearlized pigments, which gives it this metallic finish. You can actually get it pretty even with just a single coat there if you want a little bit of translucence to the color. I'll show you, of course, applied with a second coat. Get a more opaque color. Next is Anti-Fashion, which also is a frost. This is a mid-tone purple with pearlized pigments. It's what MAC should have described um, as is typical of MAC as a dirty plum or dirty purple because it has a strong gray undertone. Now I don't know if you can see this but for some reason this brush is particularly thin. I don't know if that was just a random packaging defect. Here's coat number two. It's taking me a little longer because this brush is so narrow.
Here is Discotech. This has a pearl finish. Mac describes this as super glitter silver, which I think is highly accurate. You get a really intense glittery finish. There's just one coat and a second layer. Next is Screaming Bright. This also has a pearl finish. This is a super gold glitter. Here's layer two. You actually don't need to be very precise with these. They don't show any sort of streakiness, even with just one layer. And last up is Girl Trouble. And this is also a pearl finish color. And this is a super pink glitter. Here's one more coat. And that's what it looks like. All right, so there you have the 10 new colors being added to Max Nail Lacquer's line. Now, these are supposed to become permanent colors. So after the release of this collection, these are colors that you should be able to buy even when the typical lifespan of a limited edition collection is over. Um, if you've been a reader of Allura Beauty for any span of time, you'll probably know that I'm not the biggest fan of MAC nail polishes. Um, the main reason being is that it's just at a pretty much, in my opinion, it's at an absurd price. They are $16 each. There's nothing about MAC's nail polish formula that is special. They're not particularly long wearing. Usually the colors are not particularly unique, um, even in the 10 that I've shown in this video, I don't think are particularly unique. I do like the pearl finish colors. I think they're really fun. They're super glittery um, without being streaky or anything like that. But again, the colors are not special. You can find that golden glitter, sil silver glitter, even the pink glitter in other companies' lines. So. I just think that for $16 you have to get something that is either special by formula or special in color and Max Nail Polishes just don't have either of those. So I, and I'm, I've never been the kind of person to buy something just because it has a certain label on it or it, because it's made by a certain company. Um, I think the most important thing is quality or uniqueness, not the name that gets printed on a bottle. So. Um, that's just my opinion. It, of course, value is judged differently by different people. So some people are willing to pay $16. Some people aren't willing to pay even, you know, $3 for something. They only want to pay $2. So anyway, all that is subjective. But um, in my opinion, for such a high price compared to other brands like SE, China Glaze, OPI, it's just too much in my opinion <laughs> but um i'll stop repeating myself and if you'd like to see photos please jump on over to allura beauty um i hope you enjoyed looking at the colors with me i'm trying out a new camera trying to show you more close up what the colors look like on the nail so that you can really get a live view of what the color looks like and what is true to the color so i hope you enjoyed looking at these colors with me thank you for watching this video and taking the time I will see you in the next video.